The video unveiled the RTX 4090, the part of the RTX 4000 series, but uh, how much of a performance difference is there between the 3090 and 4090? Well, I'm going to tell you, but subscribe. Well, straight away, I'm going to show the similarities. Both come with 24GB of DDR6X VRAM and a memory bus of 284 bits per second. What is different is that the 4090 will come with a 12 gen PCIe 5.0 power cable, which is a, which is a splitter, but it's kind of like 600 watts in a single cable, which is a lot for a single cable. I'm pretty sure you connect like three cables into the one cable, similar to RTX 4090, which is cool to see them do it, but what's your opinion? The base clock speed of RTX 4090 is 2.52 gigahertz, and the base clock speed is 2.23 gigahertz. Then there's the biggest difference. The RTX 4090 has 6,000 more CUDA cores than the 3090, which is a lot more. But that's like, that's like, that's like more than half. Ray tracing is third generation, so it would be a lot better than second generation. AMD now, I think, are on second generation, because 6,000 series were the first generation. So ray tracing on the uh, NVIDIA card is always going to be better than AMD. And their tensor cores are also on fourth gen, up from the third gen. Also, the 3090 drives 295 watts. Also, another difference is a nanometer. The RTX 3000 series comes with an 8 nanometer chip, and the 5000 series comes with a 5 nanometer chip, which makes it more power efficient. Also, it makes it way faster. And now, finally, the pricing. The RTX 4090 is meant to be 1600 USD, while the 3090 right now, I think, is like around 1000 to 1100 range, which is, I mean, for the price, I will go for the 4090.